Okay, here I am, Lord of Shadows, doing a new Star Wars Rebels Weeks episode, Blood Sister. So, in this episode, you know, well, this is one of the few episodes we don't have Kanan, Zeb, and, you know, Rex on it. The only, the only characters we have inside are, were Sabine, Hera, Syndulla, and Ezra Bridger, alongside with a new character, a uh, female bounty hunter, Ketsu Onyo, who she used to work with the Black Sun. Yes, the Black Sun, which I remember it from, which oh, actually I remember it from the Clone Wars. And if the ones who don't know, the Black Sun, uh, the back in those days, were were the most powerful and famous you know, crime syndicate of its uh, time for the, in uh, in the galaxy. And actually, when we talk about the block, uh, the Black Sun, I remember them. You know, they're all you know, this crime syndicate. I mean, all the aliens, you know, that were inside there looked like some kind of a their, their design were almost like some kind of a Chinese em uh, Japanese emperors. You know. That kind of design, and like I said before, they were, the, they were the most powerful criminal syndicate in all the galaxy and the criminal underworld. And in the way how the in the way how I know they were described, it's you know when a bounty hunter or an assassin or a normal criminal tries to work with them, it's a big thing, or should I say it's a big honor. So and it appears like while well, how Sabine and Ketsu Onyo were talking. Uh, when they were uh, they were younger, and also I forgot to mention in this episode we find out this, uh, a little bit more about Sabine's backstory because the first thing and the only thing we find out about Sabine was you know in season one when she was uh, mentioning that she was in the Imperial Academy, and after she broke down from the I Imperial Academy, she became a bounty hunter, and Ke this girly Ketsu Onyo were her partner, friend, old friend, or should I say, well, Ketsu Onyo treated her like a sister. Uh, younger sister and they were partners until the time you know when she left Sabine lying uh, lying dead was well, like dead sorry like dead and in some in short words she betrayed her and they did and of course in this episode they, the way how you see it they did each other for a long time in this episode they finally meet face to face again so in this episode, we you know the the simple the, the it was very simple. So it, they, it appears that Sabine and Ezra were on a mission to escort a courier, you know, with some kind of a secret information vital to the you know, force the rebels, and of course, calls to uh, rendezvous point, which also means that Sabine must face off against her old friend Kets Onyo and the partner. And it appears like that this carrier is some kind of a is, is a a G eighty six. And if I'm not mistaken, AG, uh, AG86 is uh, what is a GNK power droid that work, you know, as a courier. You know, the little ones, you know, they look like some kind of, kind of uh, some kind of a box, and they walk, you know, like penguins, you know, like ah, 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 ah. you know, they're real funny, <laughs> really funny. Those kind of droids were always, for me, the most funniest droids I ever seen. And then the uh, then, then of course they came C3PO, R2, R2D2, and uh, all the others, including Chopper. And of course, like I said, he was the carrier of some kind of uh, uh, very important information. And of course, Sabine and Ezra's uh, mission was to take this car uh, take this droid back to Senator Organa. And also, uh, in also the end, I mean, at the end of the episode. But still, we have an old character back, R two D two, because you know, waiting for them, you know, so they can you know receive the carrier and bring him back to Senator Bay Organa. So I mean that was the end. I mean, the, I mean that was the uh, main part of the episode, but the, but the I mean the main mission. But we're talking about the entire episode. You know, it was all you know some kind of a confrontation between Ketsu Onyo and you know Sabine because it appears like she's still a bounty hunter, and uh, in the past she was working for the Black Sun, and now you know like she's trying to collect the bounty you know on, on Sabine, and it appears like she want she uh, came to take you know this AG eighty six power droid. And you know that's where you know, all the confrontation you know, begins. I mean, the first, the first part, you know, when she tries to comf uh, confront her, you know, you, you know, they were all in the middle of the battle, and then you have you know like the stormtroopers that just came there, you know, like trying to stop them and everything, like you know, this shadow, you know, where are where are they right now? You know, like you know, it's you know, it's uh, none of their business and everything. They have to move away, and of course, you know, they were under attack by the stormtroopers. And of course, you know, Sabine and the others they use the opportunity, you know, to escape with the main shell passenger shell. Which also, oh, and by the way, Harrod also mentioned you know, to Sabine and Ezra that the main code is, you know, it's a, you know, it's a long way to, you know, Alderaan, Alderaan. I mean, and it appears like it, it had this word was some kind of a code 
code phrase, you know, so they can carry, you know, so they can recognize the rebels, you know, so they can, so they can take him with him. At the beginning, you know, they thought he was, he was, you know, an alien or a person or something. They never thought that this is going to be a Kai power droid, which also, you know, is very clever. You know, because in that way, you know, nobody will ever suspect him. Because who is who? Who the hell can can suspect a droid? A droid? Who? Especially AG86. I mean, that kind of droid. So, very good idea. So the entire so like I said, the entire episode was the conflict between two of them. You know, the beginning the beginning was at the station, and then at the end, you know, there were a, a space. You know, trying to, you know, Sabine tried to fly away. You know, uh, from Ketsu Onyo. Of course, you know, in that way, you know, Ezra just fall down, and of course, she, he, you know, he just went back to Hera. And of course, the all other, you know, parts were back the battle between Sabine and Chopper and Ketsu Onyo. Which also, I can tell you, know, after uh, most of the end of the episode, you know, when uh, uh, Ketsu Onyo just tried to bargain, you know, with uh, Sabine, like, because at the beginning, she tried to bargain, like, give me the droid, and I will, you know, spare your life. And then in the end, you know, like when because Sabine used the opportunity because after Chopper flew away from the uh, from the ship, you no, know, he just he just went, you know, to the Ketsu owner's main ship and tried to, you know, to, you know, cut off, you know, the main cannon so that she cannot counter fire her. And that was really kind of uh, clever and you know really kind of funny to see Chopper in action because one of the most interesting parts are not only for me, uh, you know, the parts you know where Zeb and Ezra are together, but also you know, the part when Chopper is back in action, like he was in Hondo Naka, you know, just holding the laser guns and everything like. Aah! I'm a crazy droid, I'm gonna shoot you the hell out of you! Everybody beware! So, it was really kinda of funny. I mean, it wasn't a bell scene, but it was really funny, you know, you know like, like, okay, you know, like, you chop like, whoa, 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 whoa. okay, you know, like, Sabine, everything's under control, I'm gonna, you know, turn off the cannons and everything, you just keep her talking. And it was really kinda of fun to see that. And, I really quite enjoyed this episode. So, after, you know, he cut off, you know, the cannons, okay, so, oh, no, it appears like in, in the ship, she used, you know, like, she used, you know, some kind of a magnet to draw, you know, back uh, Chopper because he was, she was, he was really too, so close, you know, that uh, he can get on Sabine's ship and everything. And after that, you know, Ketsu Ono, uh, Ketsu Ono and Sabine on round two, they meet face to face, and she of course take off her helmet. And when I thought, oh yeah, before I get into the just the last part, I just want to say that Ketsu Ono, you know, was really, kind of, you know, really, you know. Okay, the design was really good. I and also remember that uh, the way I see it, it, it appears like her design, you know, of the Ketsu Ono was some kind of a, a new concept art of the the Force Awakens, if I'm not the, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, you know, in this episode, the only, I only, uh, also I found out that uh, you know the uh, Star Bus, you know, shuttle, you know, in this episode, you know, is a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you know, the Star Bus is uh, some kind of, is a Latillian, uh, is a Latillian short. Uh, short hauler, or you know, which uh, was a model, you know, had previously appeared in the Clone Wars as well, of course, in, in, uh, as Warriors, you know, Star Wars Legends works, so which which means you know, movies. So, also that, and also, I I remember that the Shadow Caster, you know, catch a ship, you know, in the way how it looked like and everything, I remember that it appears like it's, it is uh, some kind of remodel of the starship that would have you know, been used by Asajj Ventress, you know, in the Clone Wars, and it was really kind of cool to also see that, and like I said, it was the only episode where Kanan, Zeb, and Rex weren't on it. Because the main characters in this episode are Ketsu Onyo, Sabine, and the confrontation. And of course, you know, there we have the end. So after Ketsu Onyo revealed herself and everything, which also is a shade, almost 90% shaved uh, uh, girly bounty hunter, Sabine, after the talking and everything, like, after all this time, you know, she, you know, she forgets her and everything because, you know, she finally, even because he meets, you know, the rebels or say the ghost ship crew, you know. It gives her a, a second chance and everything, and so it was really kind of touching and everything. I mean, even though know, it was really kind of touching to see that, you know, and then at the end, you know, they were under attack some kind of a, um, you know, Empire ship, I mean, not Star Destroyer, but some kind of a mini, a mini ship and everything. And of course, you know, like they help each other and you know, try to escape, you know, of course, using the, you know, it's, it's like it's using the, man, I always forget, you know, oh yeah, using the hyperspace to try to escape and everything. And then, of course, at the end, they complete the mission and they deliver, you know, the droid to Santa Bay Organa, like I said before. And the, and the ending was really kind of, you know, very, very touching, you know, because at the beginning, there were enemies. She tries to, you know, collect the droid, and of course, she also used the opportunity to try to collect the bounty on Sabine that the Empire put. And, I mean, the beginning, of the to the middle, there were enemies. And then, they were friends. Again. So it was really kind of touching and everything. So after you no, know, she helped her and everything. You know, just Ketsu, you know, just run away. Uh, Ketsu just 
walked away and everything, even Sabine told her that uh, every single time, if she needs any help or if she wants, you know, to start again, you know, we, they were glad to accept her, you know, on the, uh, in the rebellion and everything, and of course, you know, I kept telling her, okay, you know, it would be nice that and everything, and, you know, like, uh, I'm hoping that we're going to see each other again, and which I believe, like, even I believe for Kondo Naka and Quarry, I also believe that Ketsu Ono was going to appear again. And so that was the entire, you know, ending of the episode. I mean, it was really kind of touching. I mean, it was, it was a simple chapter, it was a simple, sorry, a simple episode, but it was cool and touching. I enjoyed, you know, the battle. I enjoyed the confrontation between Sabine and her, and the funny, you know, parts, you know, where Chopper was trying to cut off, you know, the, the laser cannons from her, from Ketsu's ship. I mean, I enjoyed the episode. It was simple, but I enjoyed it. So, yeah, here I am, I'm done. Read the video, comment, subscribe, give me a positive, give me something which personally think about this episode, about Ketsu Onyo and Sabine's, uh, Sabine's reunion, and, and the ending, what you personally think, you know, about what, what's going to happen next, and everything. Drop me a like, we appreciate that, peace everyone, have an awesome rest of the day, and the most important thing is, may the Force be with you. Well, I'll see you again, Star Wars fans, till next time.